We've always maintained that single room heat recovery is not an effective or efficient method of ventilation for the simple reason that the average wind speed in the UK as published by the Met Office is 5 metres a second. Single room heat recovery ventilation units run constantly on trickle and this is the most effective speed to maximise heat recovery. They can be boosted by pull cord or by humidistat but the heat recovery is greatly reduced in this mode. Most manufacturers test product performance to static or still air outside and as we're going to demonstrate with any wind outside the performance is dramatically reduced. This is a single room heat recovery unit we're testing and it's running on trickle mode. We're using a sealed test chamber and we have four thermistors measuring the airflow temperature inside and outside the building. The arrows indicate the direction of airflow and the two readings on top are measuring the extract air temperature. Number one is the extract airflow inside and number two is the extract air outside. And then the two readings on the bottom are measuring the return air temperature Number three is the airflow inside and number four is the airflow outside. Both airflows pass through a recuperator in the unit. The unit is running on trickle with static air outside and is performing satisfactorily in terms of heat recovery. This is the extract inlet here and here and underneath is the return air. So this is the extracting air, this is the return air. To demonstrate what happens if there is wind outside, we're putting strips of paper over the air extract units like this. That's over one and that's over the other. So we've effectively covered both the unit, both the air extract inlets and as you can see it is extracting, it's holding the paper on perfectly well. Now if we introduce an external wind speed of three, only three meters a second which we're now doing, this is a light breeze, it's not a lot of wind and the extract air is being stopped which can be seen by the strips of paper starting to lift. If we further increase the wind speed to 4 metres a second, which is still only a breeze, the extract airflow is reversed and air is being blown back in, which again is demonstrated by the bits of paper. Both airflows are now in the same direction coming into the building and therefore no warm damp air is being extracted and there is no heat being recovered. Furthermore, it is now bringing in colder air and reducing the temperature inside. We now increase the external wind speed to 5 metres a second, which is the average wind speed in the UK and it's not a strong wind, it gets even worse. Remember, these are supposed to be extracting air. This is why single room heat recovery is not an efficient or effective means of ventilation.